Hey everyone, thanks so much for joining me today. It's Lindsay here, the Front Yard Gardener, and today we're gonna talk about how to save your borage seeds. All we need for materials today are a mature borage plant, your fingers, and a bowl or a tote to catch the seed in. After the borage flower is finished, the seed pods begin to form. And that's what you're seeing here in the green. These aren't yet mature. This is just the start of them. In phase two, what we have now is the green seed pods have turned into a light brown color. At this stage, they are still not ready for harvest, but getting close. At last, this beautiful, deep, rich, dark chocolate coffee bean color is what we're looking for. When your seeds have reached this stage, they are ready for harvest. To remove the seed, simply pull back gently on the petal and rub your nail over the seed until it falls ensuring that you have a dish, a bowl, a tote, something underneath you so that you can easily collect the seed. That's all there is to it. You can see here that this still looks fairly fresh. This hasn't reached that dried out look yet. Whereas this one here, you can see we've actually got some seeds forming. Now borage is tricky because if you don't get to the seed fast enough, it'll drop out. You'll see that these flowers here, um, the seeds are already missing. And that's why borage for some people, if you want borage in the same spot in your garden each year, there's no need for saving seed. It will actually drop its seed, it'll self, self seed, and you'll have plenty of borage for next year. But if you're like me and you've got your borage in a pot um, so you can move it around, or you wanna give some to a friend, you wanna be able to start them, um, then you're going to want to harvest your own seed. Well, that's it, folks. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.